Hello everybody and welcome to the LAM for the FA Cup fourth qualifying round between Tamworth and Darlington. South Tamworth of the uh, Southern Premier Central League and Darlington of the National League North. Two teams uh, uh, in for, for Tamworth, they've had two changes as in comes, uh, out goes Wild, uh, in comes Wilder and Honus and for Darlington in comes Ben Headley. And back onto the bench comes Darlow legend Stephen Thompson. Little plays the ball down the line, finds O'Neill with his back to goal, holds it up against the, a larger centre half, but that's what he's spent most of his season doing. Now Tamworth have a chance to come forward. Their left winger plays the ball out to the number 10, puts it back in the box, gets a shot. And he gets a deflection. Is that, uh, is that Story, I think, getting the block there? I think it was Terry Galbraith just slid across, actually. That was the first half chance for Tamworth, found a little bit of space down the left side, and the shot needed a good block. I think it was Galbraith. And it's a left footer, so it's that out swinger. It's a decent one, it bounces, not cleared. Little gets a bit of a head on it. And Headley gets it clear. Only as far as uh, number eight, Aaron Ford, and he pumps it straight back in at the far post. Oh, and well played there by Rivers. He managed to get a little flick, flick on it. We'll get it clear, now it's up to the halfway line. And we get our obligatory head tennis. Come on, Joe, bring it down. Finds Holness. Oh, well played. That's a lovely bit of control there from Omar Holness and he finds Headley. Headley's looking over to the right hand side but instead plays down the line for Rivers. Rivers has got a man on him so he's having to come back. He's coming in field. It's a good little run here from Rivers. He's keeping going. He's plays a lovely ball through to Campbell at the penalty box. Campbell shoots! Oh and he flashes wide of the post. Lovely bit of play there. First chance of the game goes to the Quakers. Nice ball was just glued to Rivers' feet there on this plastic pitch, wasn't he? Found Campbell in the left-hand channel, brought it round onto his right foot, as we've seen so often this season. Just couldn't quite get the bend to get it in the back post. Absolutely. That could easily have been 1-0. Ah, but it's the wrong side of uh, O'Neill, so we've just given possession back there a bit cheaply. And Alan Armstrong won't be happy with that. Yeah, we've got a nice bit of play there by Campbell. That's his second or third time he's actually won the ball back. Now he's found Holness. Holness plays a lovely ball out to Rivers. Rivers has got a chance to run, it, run and attack the fullback. Does a little flick, jinxy flick. Comes in field. Finds Campbell. Campbell's in the penalty box. He gets a cross in. Just hit in. Oh, it falls for Holness. It was a foul. And it's a goal! Ty Tyrone O'Neill puts it in the back of the net. Wonderful play from the Quakers. And it's the first goal in the ninth minute for the, for the visitors. Great play from Campbell to pick up the ball, as you said, Mike, there. Rivers again. The ball was stuck to his feet. Played Campbell back in. Cross went back post. O'Neill's got all the time in the world there. Blast it into the bottom corner. Great finish. Great start for the Quakers. That just looks so comfortable where they passed. They knew where each other were. They all know where to make a run to. That, that is the result of the last four weeks, that is. I think our fullbacks are going to have quite an important part to do in this game with the style that they play the, that they play the ball behind the defence but down the channels. Oh, and there's a mistake there from... Uh, from Terry Galbraith. Ball goes across the box, but it's a mistake. It falls behind the, 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 the striker, and it's Headley's chance to come away with it there. Darlow got off there. He's going to fancy the chances. Now they're going to play a crossfield ball behind Headley. It's a chance for Obeng to run on, and he's got to the ball. Connell's had to come out to close him down. Gets a shot past Connell, but there's Headley there to cover. It's a very scary, dangerous situation there, and it's not over yet. Ball pumped back into the box for Tamworth. Goes over to the far side for Honus. Honus jinks in left and right, plays it to the edge of the Darlington box. Now it's with Ford. Good pressure there from Holness. Ford uh, furious with his teammates, he has no options. Now it's Tamworth play it forward. Pumped in at 100 mile an hour into the box and it's fallen for the number seven and shoots again. Dalo living dangerously here in these, uh, these minute, last few minutes, Stuart. Start with the left back, move it down the left hand side, but it goes out of touch. Good pressure from the home team there. Ben Headley with two, I'm going to give him the, the good news, two great uh, blocks from Ben Headley, but for the first crossfield ball, Headley was uh, w w was caught too narrow and it was very easy for Tamworth to get behind him. Not quite, but in that territory. Throw in's taken, comes back to Wilder. Comes inside to Bezik. Bezik's found the substitute there on the edge of the box. He's just drawn the foul from Wheatley. I think it was a foul, I think... Uh, Kazaboni, the goal had opened up in front of him there. I think he was just about to have a crack, so I'm going to put that down and say that was a smart foul from Joe Wheatley. Holmes, Rivers, Wheatley. 
in the middle of the four-man wall for Darlington. Bezik's going to get his left foot on this. The referee blows his whistle. Bezik steps up. Oh, it, the wall's done its job, and that was uh, ben, uh, Michael Little, should I say, on Darlington's left-hand side. It's going to be an in-swinger with that left foot again. Bezik takes it short, actually. It's clipped into the box. Nice set-piece. Good block from Darlington. And that's a penalty for the home team. There's a sliding challenge went in. A couple of Darlington players involved. It might have been Hatfield. Referee had no hesitation when the Tamworth player went to ground and uh, it's a penalty for the home team. Yeah, absolutely. They, just the failure to clear their lines. The ball got stuck in there and just wasn't getting out. They were just asking for trouble. It was bouncing around. Bezik's going to take this in front of those Darlington fans. Connell stands, bounces on his line. Bezik comes up to the ball, takes it. Saved by Connell and the rebound as well. Liam Connell give this man a knighthood. Saves it to the left. Great save, Liam Connell. And on the replay, those Darlington fans going bananas behind that goal. They're reacting like it's a goal behind the fans. They're absolutely jumping around like it's a goal. What a great bit of save by Connell. And the, and the pick up to get it back up the floor. Jazz Singh comes and gets there. O'Neill pointing to the slightly wider area, saying that's where he wants it. He wants it down the channel. It's too close. It's too congested it's too, there. And the too keeper's straight, there. isn't it? It's too straight and it goes straight. Oh, if it's over his head, it goes straight in the keeper's hands. Little clears it forward, O'Neill's dropped off, found a bit of space, he turns towards goal, oh. drops it right to, uh, well, in between Hatfield and Rivers there, and Hatfield does well to pick the ball oh. back up, and then Rivers with a lovely little Cruyff turn drives into some space, 30 yards from goal, looks for the 1-2 from O'Neill, O'Neill's on the box, he's turned his man, it's shot from Holders, oh. it's a fantastic finish by Omar Holders for the second! What a goal! Lovely bit of passage of play there, Tyron O'Neill holding it up, and then Holders just... Beautiful right foot right into the bottom corner. He just stroked it home, didn't he, Omar Holness? Lovely finish into the bottom corner. Quakers go two goals up. That is a beautiful goal. Well played. Can't, the touch is so sweet. And just passing it, holding the ball up and moving it on. That was brilliant. Darlington are playing well so far. They've come out in the second half in, in control so far. But now there's a chance in number nine's breaking through. He's not being closed down. And there's Michael Little just having to give the foul away on the edge of the box. Yeah, I'm not at all sure. I'm not at all sure that was a free kick there. Little's been uh, pulled back for a free kick right, as you say, it's right half a yard outside the box. I'm not entirely sure it looked like a foul to me. But the problem started about ten yards back as he, the number is it was it weight again? He was running with the ball and nobody was putting nobody was closing him down. Campbell's just dropping back as well. So oh, every man Jack is in the penalty box for Darlington. And in fact, it's number four. It's Bezik's going to take it. And he doesn't power. He tries to chip it round. And it's a tame attempt at a free kick. Just hits the wall and gets cleared. You can't just do nice touches every once in a while. You've got to be consistent with it. And Tamworth are get, starting to build a little bit of momentum here. In these first ten minutes of the second half. Number nine gets a shot away. And it's a goal for Tamworth. Oh, is it a goal? I think it's a... I think it's a goal kick, Mike. I think it's gone behind. Everyone in the stand here thinks that's a goal for Tamworth. They're going to be disappointed in a minute. They realise it's at the side netting. That really looked like the goal had, rip goal had rippled, but it went in the side. No goal, no goal. 2-0 <laughs> to the Darlow still. Wow, that was deceptive. That took an awful long time for people around here to realise it hadn't gone in. I started to doubt myself. Well, away, the oh, everybody had their head down. Right now, Rivers is coming forward with the ball. He finds uh, O'Neill on the edge of the box and the shoots. Yes, and, it. and he scores! It's the third goal for Darlington. Tyrone O'Neill, take Ty a bow. Tyrone O'Neill, Darlington. At one minute, thought we all thought they might have conceded one. The ball goes forward, finds O'Neill. O'Neill drives the ball across Jazz Singh right into the bottom corner off the foot of the post. The Darlington fans behind the goal go absolutely bananas as the third goes in. Just cool as you like in the, on the edge of the penalty box, O'Neill. What is going on? Ball pumped over the pop, but Liam Connell coolly volleys it from the edge of his box. Not great placement, but not a great deal of options for time within a shot. Oh, and Connell just grabs it out of the air. Like He looks like he's just come off the farm after a full shift. He's a big strapping lad. And five pumps it into the box, it's a flick on. Broken into the box. O'Connell's there. Oh, and it's cleared off the line by by Story. I'm not sure. 
What a Tamworth got to do to score. I'm not sure if it's Story or Wheatley, I don't know, but Tamworth must be looking at this thing, it's not going to be their day. Headed off the line, fantastic defending. I'm thinking that Story. Take it, I'll take a I'll take it, I'll take a risk. Little finds O'Neill. O'Neill's touch is inside. He's got a chance to get oh! a shot away. O'Neill. Oh, it's a great save by Singh. That was almost the Grangetown Gascoigne hat trick. That was lovely bit of play. The drag back, just playing it into space. Could it just didn't quite get it in the corner enough, and it gave the keeper a chance. It was, we were right behind that, weren't we? Good save by Singh. Great play again by O'Neill. But nice. they don't need to. The three up. That's the difference. Balls now with Wheatley, who's got space to drive. He's got a runner left on, and a runner Jay. right. Joe Wheatley Shoot. comes wide now to Rivers inside the box. Rivers shoots, goes through Singh's hands and lands on the top of the crossbar, on the top of the goal net, should I say. Wow, listen to that appreciation of Tyron O'Neill. Tyron O'Neill's being warmly applauded off here, including a couple of the Tamworth fans. So I don't know what exactly the shape's going to be, but we'll tell you after this corner which Jarrett Rivers is going to take. Rivers takes it, goes back stick. It's a good race. It's still bobbing about in the air. There's a flag up on the far side, I think there was a handball spotted there, the Darlington fans behind the goal all shouted for handball, is that a Palestinian flag that guy's got down there, keeps waving around my ass, I think it is isn't it Palestine? I think so Justin Donoweth oh. he uh, does well to pick the ball there, referee almost got in the way but Donoweth picked it up straight away and he's in the centre circle, he's got a runner to the left and Holness and he's found Holness here a lovely ball by Donoweth making an impression, Shoot. Holness gets his head up, brings it back onto his right foot has the shot, oh, just over the bar from Omar Holness it comes to uh, Creaney, the substitute and they play it left to the other substitute Casaboni who came on midway through the first half, a couple of step overs from him, nice play by Casaboni in fact and a uh, chance to cross it from the byline, but it's blocked behind for a corner. But even that corner's only greeted with just a gentle ripple of applause, isn't it? I don't think there's anybody left in this ground, apart from perhaps me, who thinks that Tamworth have got any chance of getting back into this game here. Uh, yeah, I'd, Ten I'd and a half know. minutes to go. Just can't see. Corner comes in. Just comes off some bodies in the box. It's nodded in the box. Give me a chance to shoot for Tamworth, but Lang's there to snub it out, and then little game as anything comes and picks a pocket and blocks it finds uh, Rivers feet Rivers first touch is lovely is a late challenge on Rivers there the ball's popped over the top for Justin Donawa flag stayed down donawa has got his man one-on-one -on, -one on the edge plays it across it's, it's actually Donawa now should I say that was Holmes Holmes gets it back on the shoots left foot forces the safe out of saying my apologies there got Donawa and Holmes confused going forward it's just nice it's just the class the class difference. I, I think this is Holness' best game that I've seen him play this season. He's been really good, I think. Potentially so. And Holness and Donawa take the corner. And In terms of tidiness, yeah, definitely. Yeah, just all-round performance, I think. Wheatley comes across to Headley. Headley takes it on his chest. He's got a man, he's on the corner of the 18-yard box, comes inside on, a man, Headley. gets it onto his left foot, plays it all the way across. Donawa's got a chance. Donawa, great save by Singh. Hatfield's on the return, just gets deflected wide. And as I say, Darlington now in this game walking forward creating chance after chance after chance it's it's a, as much as i'm happy to win i just feel a smidge cruel on me it, it, it does not feel like a 4 nil game it's a breath of a chance that might just happen we've just been so clinical the draw for the first round proper of the fa cup is almost going to be uh, have darling's name in it here let's see if we can get that home to home draw finally uh, wouldn't that be amazing? Bascom, little back heel, fancy stuff there, finds Wheatley, Wheatley drives forward and then turns back. And there we go, the referee blows the full-time whistle, Darlington through to the first round prop of the FA Cup. Won three games in the FA Cup in the same season since the early 90s and will be in the hat on Monday. We are in the first round of the FA Cup. We're with Sunderland and Portsmouth and crew and all our old uh, buddies in the league where we belong fantastic clinical clinical performance in the boxes for Darlington today particularly in the attacking box two goals from Tyrone O'Neill who got that have you forgotten who got a goal it was that long ago uh, Omar Holness how could I forget apologies I'm euphoric with adrenaline after that performance two goals from Tyrone O'Neill one from Omar Holness and in the end, Darlington, the comfortable victors, indebted for a little minute there in the first half to some fantastic goalkeeping, including a penalty save from Liam Connell. But that's it.